Lip tie and breastfeeding. The upper labial frenulum is quite prominent in infancy and becomes less so with time as the gum grows downwards. The term lip tie refers to a frenulum which is preventing normal function. A lip tie can contribute to poor latch, weak suck, poor milk removal and sometimes nipple pain. Observing the feeding, one will usually see the top lip turned in. This alone would not require release. Examining the mouth, one finds the frenulum reaching the bottom of the gum. Pushing the lip up, we find that the tissue just below the nose turns white, indicating tension. When the frenulum is tight, it can interfere with the action of the orbicularis oris muscle, which circles the mouth. This is called the kissing muscle, for obvious reasons. Ultimately, the one crucial factor in the decision to clip the frenulum is that it is interfering with proper latch. Regarding dental concerns, releasing a broad and tight frenulum will possibly reduce the chance of a significant diastema later in childhood. Please note, it is normal for there to be a space between the baby teeth. This gap will close in most cases when the permanent teeth are in. To clip the labial frenulum, secure the baby and have someone hold the baby's head. With an older baby, one may use one or two sprays of lidocaine. One or two small careful clips vertically, right next to the gum, will release the frenulum. Baby will cry and there will be a very small amount of blood. Both these can be reduced significantly by offering the baby the breast, bottle or a soother immediately. To prevent re-adhesion, parents should be taught to lift the lip firmly and briefly two or three times a day for the first two weeks. My clinical experience indicates that labial phrenotomy can improve breastfeeding when the whole situation has been properly assessed. As always, optimum position and latch are critically important.